it's time for more Disney Pixar outfits. <laughs> well, almost, almost, wait. <laughs> First, we have to pick our featured patron, Stevie D. Oh, Stevie, it was so awesome getting to hang out with you in our live stream. It was so lovely to meet you. I love you and I hope, no, 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 I know. I know you love Disney and Pixar, so this one's for you, Stevie. And now it's Disney Pixar time. So in our last Disney Pixar hybrid, whew, um, <laughs> people were very, very, very upset that I that I did not separate out Disney and Pixar. The Disney Pixar hybrid term was not acceptable, apparently. <laughs> this time, we'll keep them separate. I am sorry. Okay, but this one, we have eight different pieces. We have three Pixar, five Disney, and these outfits are going to be amazing. And all of these come from the last two Black Milk Disney releases. So let me give you a quick run through of the movies and the pieces that we're going to be styling. So on the Pixar side, we have these Monsters Inc. leggings. So busy, so bright, so colorful. They're gonna be so much fun to style. Speaking of busy, bright, colorful, and fun to style, we have the Coco overalls. You guys, I love them so much. Look, it says seize your moment on the inside flap. You guys, these are so cool. <laughs> and the little skeleton versions of Hector and Miguel and Ernesto de la Cruz. I'm okay, I'm fine, I'm totally okay. <laughs> oh, and this one. Okay, this incredible Toy Story skirt, the detail. I could look at this thing for hours. I'm not even kidding, like look how, there's so much to see. Okay, we'll go over it though when I'm styling it. Okay. <laughs> and then let me show you the Disney pieces that we have as well. One of my favorite Disney movies growing up, one of my fave Disney classics, Aladdin. Is this not the most perfect thing you've ever seen. It's so beautiful. Another one of my childhood faves. We got the Lion King overalls. This is gonna be so much fun. <laughs> of course we have the Little Mermaid leggings. You know I can't leave her behind. I love her so much. <laughs> yeah, pastel pink Marie overall shorts. Oh my god, she's putting powder on. It's just so sweet. And finally, the Disney Villains slouchy, which is like this really long, freaking beautiful, beautiful hoodie. Look, it's got like purple hood inside with all of these icons. Oh my gosh, it's so good. <laughs> I'm so excited right now. This is honestly like my dream video. That Aladdin kimono. All right, so as you can see, we got our hands full and I think it's time to get to work. Oh my gosh, how gorgeous is this kimono? Oh my god, it's so pretty! <laughs> okay, so for this outfit, I want to do like a wearable jasmine look. Well, not wearable. I hate when people say that. Anything that you're wearing is wearable. <laughs> but like a casual outfit inspired by jasmine. So I want to incorporate her teals, her black hair, um, and her gold accessories into our Aladdin outfit. I know I have a long fluffy teal tool, teal tool skirt. <laughs> so let me grab that and we'll start there. This will give that like fluffy silhouette like how Jasmine's pants like poof out, you know? Okay, let's go check to see if I have some kind of either like teal bralette or teal crop top or something like that that gives us a little bit of skin. Okay, let's go. Okay, so this section over here, this is all of my crop tops. And as far as teal, it looks like we have this babe crop and this Totoro tie crop. So while Jasmine is a freaking babe, <laughs> I think the Totoro shirt is going to match the tulle skirt a little bit better. Like this leans more to the greeny side of teal and this leans more to the blue side. And I think the kimono will cover up our little forest friend here. I think we'll go with this one. Boop. Oh, and while we're in here, let's go ahead and grab some teal socks. I'm 
excuse me. Excuse me, you're just gonna walk all over my clothes? Look at your little feet prints in my skirt. <laughs> Babe, why don't you get in your Disney house instead of on my Disney clothes? <laughs> okay, let me fix your feet. No! Okay, teal shoes, where you at? Oh, actually, Dolls Kill has a purse right now that would be so perfect with this outfit, but I don't have it. It's like a genie lamp purse. I'll put it up over here so you can see. Oh my gosh, it would be so perfect, I wish. Anyway, okay. <laughs> teal, 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 let's see what we got. Well, we have these flats here, and I have these wedge heels. So I think these, okay, pipes. <laughs> These are stabby shoes, you better be careful. Um, I do think the flats are more of like a style match to what Jasmine is wearing, but um, the spikes are putting me off a little bit, and I just think these wedges are gonna be, I just think they're gonna be cuter with the outfit, so I think we will go with these as long as we can get away. It's coming along. It looks so good. It looks so good. All right, black hair. Ah, yes, okay, this is the one I want. This is Rockstar Wigs Yaki Straight in Black. It's the lace front, the long straight one. Perfect for Jasmine. I think I will pull this into like the classic Jasmine three section pony, but I'm not gonna do like a super exaggerated, like bulbous version of it that I would do for cosplay or something like that. Uh, gold accessories, yeah. All right, let's see what we got. Okay, gold, 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 gold. This is nice and gold, but this is like a necklace that straps around your shoulder and then it has like this whole chainy bit there. But because it's a kimono, I don't really know that you would be able to see it that much. I don't know, we'll grab it, try to find a use for it. Don't really have any good gold earrings except these, but. These are kind of cute, and they kind of are like, they have Jasmine's little color in there, and also the wings are kind of like them flying on the magic carpet. We'll go with these. This is gold, a black star, that, that makes sense. We're up in the sky, she's got black hair. We can hang our little Jasmine from this. All right, I think that's it. That's our masterpiece. It's time to try it all on and see how this actually looks together. Oh, I'm excited for this one. Oh my gosh, I love it so, so much, so much, so pretty. <laughs> I feel like this outfit is a mix of classic Jasmine teal outfit, that like her iconic look that everyone knows. And then also the kimono gives a feel like when she's in the market. I love how just like flowy it all is with like the tulle skirt and the sleeves of the kimono. And I think using the like shoulder necklace thing in the hair is like an awesome extra touch. It just brings that gold up and adds in that accent to the hair. I think it's gorgeous, I love it. <laughs> And if I want this to be more fitted and like more of an accent around my waist up here, I could just tie the kimono up like this and you still get the flowy of the sleeves but it's more form fitting, cinches in at the waist a bit more than when it's just a free flowing kimono. I mean, I love it both ways. I don't know which way I like better. Maybe this way, this is really cute. I'm like looking in the monitor. This is so cute. <laughs> I just need a lamp. I need a lamp for my hand. I'm so obsessed, I'm so happy, I love it. I love it, I love it. <laughs> All right, now we just need to go find the magic carpet and it will take us to our next outfit. <laughs> Ariel's shells, the water, the kelp, 
Flounder, uh, this little seahorse guy, <laughs> and Sebastian, all right here in this crop. Super fun way to coordinate this kind of like solid color block staple into a Disney under the sea wonderland. <laughs> all right, next, next. Woo. This Toy Story skirt. Babes. Like, let's just take a brief moment to like stare at and appreciate this scene. Buzz and the little RC car flying around. Look at the art on Andy's wall. <laughs> We've got like the whole corner over here of Andy's room. Woody's playing with the dog. <laughs> like the decoration in Andy's room. Like this is beautiful. Okay, I know exactly where I want to start with this. Okay, come on, come on, come on. This outfit calls for a pair of shoes that you've probably never seen me wear. Ah, yes, here they are. <laughs> bit dusty, bit dusty. I've only worn them a handful of times because cowboy boots, like, you know, they aren't really my style that much. But of course, you just never know when you might need them. When a perfect Toy Story cowboy skirt just falls into your hands, and then all of a sudden, it's cowboy time. So for the top, I want it to be something kind of like simple and plain. The skirt is just so awesome. I don't want it to take away from the skirt too much. Maybe something brown to like kind of go with the boots. I don't really have much brown, do I? <laughs> Brown's not really my color. But here is... Here is a beige kind of crop top that might work. It is plain colored, so it's not too distracting. And the textured fabric and the little fringe down here does kind of give it a little bit of a Western feel. Not exactly what I had in mind, but I think it'll work. I want Jesse hair, like a red braid. Oh, this is gonna be precious. <laughs> okay, let's see what, um, I don't know, burgundy? wigs we've got. Okay, so I'm either between this Godiva in burgundy, which is a really long curly one, which I think would look really pretty with the top that we're wearing, or, and then we have this one, which is the classic straight in burgundy, which is much shorter, and I think I can probably braid it. Jesse says classic straight, so let's do it. <laughs> Yeah. The other day I was cruising Dolls Kills clearance section because sometimes they have like some crazy good sales in there and I saw this pink cowboy hat and I was like, oh my god, this is my moment. Hawaii Toy Story. Very excited. Well, I got it. <laughs> and uh, well, <laughs> just, just have a look at it. Um, yikes. <laughs> Yeah, looking so good. How does this wire? You have to like completely shape it yourself. I mean, how is this even supposed to go? Howdy, partner. Yikes. <laughs> oh my God, it's so bad, it's so bad. I think maybe all it's good for is like harvesting this sheriff badge off the top here and then like using that in the outfit somehow. Maybe we could put it like on a purse. Like a badge on a purse, maybe? Let's try it. Deputy Sheriff here. Oh my god, it looks so good! <laughs> it looks so cute on there. The little badge. Oh, and a belt. I feel like all cow people have like a giant belt with a big buckle like this. Do I even have a brown belt? I wear such little brown, I don't even know. <laughs> okay, let's take a look-see. Yeah, this could work. To the cowboy store. Um, how good is this hat for Jesse? Like, Okay, obviously not these pigtails. These are horrendous and must go. <laughs> okay, but once we like choppy choppy these guys off of here, it's a great Jesse hat. I also picked up uh, this big sheriff badge while I was there, like an even bigger one for our belt. Oh my God, this is gonna be so good. I'm like losing it right now. <laughs> 
And it's a little bit roomy, which is gonna be good because I'm gonna be wearing a wig. It's so good. Shout out to the Paletti patrons. Because of you babes, I can get more outfit specific things and make even cooler looks. So thank you, I love you. This is gonna be so cool. Let me just go grab a little yellow bow because Jessie wears one in her braid and I think we'll be done. Ah, oh, yeah, just this little one. This should be good just like at the base of the braid. Perfect. Ooh, cactus earrings, cowboys, desert, cactus. Works for me. All right, I think we're all set, cow dudes. Lion prides 
like on the playground. My lion name was like Bone or something like that. I don't really remember, but apparently I was a little badass. Bone. Okay, so the source of my youth as a lion, the little lion cub, is here on these overalls. I loved the Lion King, but something that I probably loved even more than the movie itself. Okay, come here, come here. The Lion King for Super Nintendo, jumping on giraffes' heads, riding that like ostrich thing. <laughs> I loved it so much. <laughs> oh my god, look, look, look. This was my game. I just remember like pelting people with apples like everywhere, and, like avoiding Jafar's stupid eggs and <laughs> And flying through the cave, oh my god, I remember that being so hard. Oh man, I could do this all day. All right, so here are our overalls. We're looking at yellows, greens, and browns mostly with this. So let's go see what kind of shirt we can find. All right, we've already kind of gone over. They don't have much brown. Hmm, yellow or green, yellow or green, lions. Man, I just realized <laughs> I already used my lion swim in the Coco outfit. Dang. <laughs> Good planning, Alexa. Good planning. <laughs> Ooh, this. It's yellow, and even though it's not lions, it is grub. <laughs> Slimy, yet satisfying. Perfect. Okay, shoes. We could take this in two different directions. We could do more of like brown lace-up boots, or we could do more of a cartoonish, oh hello, <laughs> a cartoonish Lion King look with my clear yellow guys and some bright socks underneath. Which would you rather do? Well, obviously. <laughs> I love these boots. Do you approve? Hmm, socks. I wish I had like some leafy green socks. These look like they'd be leafy green, but these are my Yoda socks from Star Wars. <laughs> uh, ooh, 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 these. These are monkey socks, let me show you. These look like the monkeys from the game that toss you through the treetops. Ah. The coral color of the monkey socks don't really seem like they would go with the yellowy brown palette. But, but if we take a look at them with the overalls here, let me zoom you in. We do actually have some corally kind of tones back here in like the leaves and the background stuff. So let's bring that out and balance it. So we got coral on our toes down here. <laughs> let's pop some coral up on our noggin. Rockstar Wigs Rhapsody Short in Hot Coral. That's what's up. Accessories. Hmm. I don't really have too much that fits this theme, do I? Ooh, this, this. Excuse me. This, I, I don't really know if this counts as a purse, but, but I'm gonna use it like one. <laughs> I got this in one of Nyx's PR boxes, like a little travel bag came inside of it. And this was holding the um, Off Tropic collection, which, P.S. is awesome. I actually wear it all the time. <laughs> but anyway, if I take this travel bag out, this kind of vibes with the Lion King aesthetic. Actually, even with the travel bag in, it has the leaves and the coral. Maybe I'll put it back in. Yeah, I mean, that's kind of sick. Let's use it. All I really think this outfit is missing is like a necklace. I'm thinking since I don't really have anything here that I like with this, I'm just gonna make the thing I want. <laughs> Craft time. The king has returned. That looks so good, yes!
So cute. <laughs> So cute. <laughs> My little 90s heart is fluttering so hard right now. <laughs> I'm so happy. I love this. Speaking of, my little fluttery 90s heart, I need to know y'all's thoughts on the new Lion King trailer. Please tell me how you feel. Fill me in. Actually, tell me your thoughts on all of the Disney live action remakes. Beauty and the Beast, Cinderella, Jungle Book, Dumbo, uh, we got Aladdin and Lion King coming up. What do you think? What do you think? <laughs> anyway, this lion outfit makes me very, very happy. <laughs> I would guess that Bone would not approve of our happy lion styling. Our little grubby grubs, <laughs> Rafiki's little painting, our monkey feet tossing Simba around. I don't think Bone would like it. I think Bone would appreciate more of a scar inspired styling, but Scar is evil and traumatized an entire generation. So, too bad. Dude, I love the styling of Disney villains. It's that like dark and brooding bad girl look and I am here for it. So when I got this evil villain's slouchy, my mind immediately went to these Disney villain leggings that came out in like 2014, probably something like that. I don't know. I got them for Christmas like way back in the day. Too much villains. Nah, come on. <laughs> I love villains. I love villains. I just ordered my first pair of Demonia shoes and they're already sneaking their way in there. They are so cool. <laughs> Matching the spikes on my shoes with the spikes on my socks. And the different shades of purple in the shoe are reflected in the subtle blend of the wig, which is Rockstar Wigs, Yaki, Straight, and Purple. K-Bye. No, actually, K-Bye is the name of this beanie, but for real, bye. These leggings. All these Monsters Inc. characters just like collaged all over here with like all of these amazing bright colors for us to work with. This is gonna be fun. <laughs> oh, this is actually a Monsters U. It's Monsters University. He's got his varsity jacket on. <laughs> they got the little pennant flag here. So the theme of this outfit is obviously going to be Monsters! Eyeballs! Fur! Well, fake fur, obvi. Bright colors. Did I mention eyeballs? I mean, how are you gonna fill a scare meter with just two eyeballs? We got this. Let's go find all of the furry things and all of the eyeball things <laughs> that we can. I'm thinking I have quite a bit of both of those things. All right, off we go. First of all, I have a bunch of awesome colored fur coats from Dolls Kill, and I know I wanna use one of those in our monster outfit. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> Can you tell which side is my side versus B side? <laughs> yes. 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 <laughs> Honestly, I think these would all work with this, so let's take them back upstairs to compare. <laughs> Okay, this one. I feel like this one is the best colors for Monsters, Inc. Actually, I think some of you guys even commented that when I first posted it, <laughs> that it reminds you of the Monsters, Inc. boys. But I don't know that the collar part here is picking up the vibe and putting down. Like it almost feels a little formal, kind of, for the mayhem that I'm going for. <laughs> so not that one. Okay, this one. So this one. Oh man, I love this one. This is my most worn of all of my pastel furry jackets, like by far, I love it so much. <laughs> it's just a beautiful, cozy, and warm, even though it's a crop length, it's just like heavy. That one's a maybe. And we have this vest, my fifth element space vest. If that reference doesn't make sense to you, <laughs> watch my first style walkthrough with this vest, like right over there. This is our only solid option for colorful fur, but I kind of like that. These leggings are so loud themselves that I am kind of digging on the idea of a more chilled out vest. I also like that this one is full length because I will probably pair the leggings with a crop top. And sometimes it can be a little bit weird when your shirt 
and your jacket are like the same length. Let's go with this one. Boom, done. All right, since our final jacket, <laughs> since our jacket is pink, I want to offset that with like another color from these leggings. Oh my God, there's so many colors to choose from. <laughs> How about like a sully blue for our shirt? Oh, I know. What about that babe crop top from earlier? Would be awesome with this. This is like just this color. Okay, let me grab that. Yes, I am liking this a lot. Okay, okay, shoes. <laughs> shoes, hmm. Which one of these is the best color match with these leggings? Probably my dino ones. Like the mix of pastel pink and hot pink and mint are just like the leggings. Yeah, Ooh, but also, I have a little bonus for this one. I was at the craft store the other day and I saw these buttons. Monster buttons. <laughs> I thought they would be so cute for the laces, right? Right? Look, they are literally like perfect. <laughs> They look so good. It's even better than I thought it was gonna be. I'm so excited. <laughs> All right, for such a big, loud outfit, I think we need some big hair, don't you? Something big like that. The baby doll light wig with these huge pigtails. <laughs> it's one of the most like voluminous and fluffy wigs that I have. I love it, yes. I want to monster this up just a little bit more and we're gonna do that with our accessories. You know how I said our goal was eyeballs and fur? Our time to shine, ready? <laughs> Let's go see what we got. Eyeball ring, eyeball necklace, eyeball bracelet, furry troll hair scrunchies, okay. <laughs> eyeball bows, and a monster mouth. The cherry on top. The eyeballs and fur combo. <laughs> My heebie-jeebies monster purse. I also have the brown one that you guys see in a lot of my Harry Potter cords, but the rainbow one, it looks like it was made for this. Look at these little eyeballs. <laughs> oh my God, that is so much better. It is so monstery. This is gonna be so sick. Oh my God, I just had one more idea. <laughs> I am too much, but I love it. <laughs> Googly eyes, googly eyes. <laughs> I swear that's it. After that, that's it. By the way, I am going to be doing a video in the next few weeks about how I do my deco nails. So I'll answer all of your questions in that video. So stay tuned. Monster hands. Hair. It like packs a punch. 
punch that just goes with the Monsters Inc. style so much better. I got this idea from my shoelaces here <laughs> and I love it so much more. And that's the glory of clothes and makeup. You can wear them differently every single time. There's never just one way to wear something. <laughs> you can mix it up. And sometimes you're not gonna know how you like it best until it's on your bod. And that's okay, it's okay to experiment because that's what makes it fun. <laughs> and on that note, sadly, this is the last outfit, so the game is over. For now, for now, I'll be back with more styling videos as soon as possible, dudes. I love these so much, you know that, you know that. <laughs> Say goodbye, little baby. Me, 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 me. Bye, babies, bye. Mwah. All right, you guys, that is it. That is all eight of our Disney and Pixar outfits. <sighs> what a ride. <laughs> Thank you, Stevie. So hope that you had fun this video because, oh my God, I had the best time and the best time. I look forward to hanging out with you again on our next Patreon live stream. Which, by the way, if you want to be like Stevie, we have tons of stuff going on over there. It's actually been so much fun. We've been doing behind the scenes. I got little secret videos for you guys, little updates, little polls little live streams. So I will leave a link to my Patreon in the description box below. And that's it, that's it, that's it. Thanks, Stevie. Thanks all of you guys for watching. Thanks, Black Milk, for giving me all of these, like, freaking incredible Disney and Pixar pieces. I hope you guys like the outfits that I made with them. All right, I will see you guys in my next video. I love you, I love you, I love you, I love you. Mwah!